back with another review. This one's brand new on the market. A very unique disc. This from Innova. It's Innova Alien. Looks alone. Immediately you think Sonic. Looks just like the Sonic. You got the pop top. Alien spaceship looking. Keyword alien. <laughs> but got the same thumb track with the grooves all in it. 4201. Completely different numbers than the Sonic. So flip it over. Got the thick walls. That's the difference maker there. To me that's what the Sonic lacks. Obviously they're completely different discs, but that thick wall makes this disc feel great compared to the Sonic. Not a big fan. It's got the thin wall and I'm a power gripper. It just doesn't feel right. But slim profile, much slimmer than the Sonic. I brought one as a comparison. The two side by side. Sonic has a lot more thickness to it. The height about the same, but the bottom, thin, thin, thick. So you can tell this one's going to be faster. Flight numbers on the Sonic, 1, 2, minus 4, 0. So completely different disc, but I'm going to throw the Alien today, see how I like it. Pretty excited about it. Forgot to mention, Star Plastic 179. Also, they call it a multi-purpose disc. So initially when I first felt this, it feels like it could be a great putter for someone. Um, so, could be a mid-range, could be a putter, could be just jack of all trades. But first throw, throw them flat out in the field. A little bit of tailwind, so got up and it's kind of getting pushed down a little bit, but good stability. Hard to figure out. Good stability, but it's still hard to figure out what it's exactly going to do. That's the Alien by Innova. Really like the feel of the disc, love how it looks. The flight, a little unpredictable at times, for me at least. To me, this is going to be a disc you have to try for yourself. Maybe not judge it completely by a review. But some of my shots go in the same wind direction. I'd have them go, and they'd fall out the sky like a bird. The next shot I'd throw, they'd be up, and it would not come down. It'd stay, and, it, and then all of a sudden you're 60 feet long of your target. So. Maybe it's just me trying to get used to it, but found it a little bit unpredictable in the, the glide rating at two. It's probably right, but every, every once in a while it may feel like a four, and it could feel like a one. But uh, I'd find this disc best for a lighter arm speed, maybe back to that fan grip. But uh, a lot of power, especially forehand, it cannot handle a lot of torque. It's gonna turn over a little bit on you. A lot of power, it's gonna have enough stability. It shouldn't turn over, but it'll stand up and ride. Yeah, like I said, this one's kind of strange. You're going to have to try it for yourself to see if it's for you. I enjoyed throwing it. I don't see me 
bagging it. I'll probably give it to my brother. He's lighter arm speed. He was actually throwing it better to me, throwing it back from the camera than I was throwing it on camera. So yeah, give it a shot. Worth a try. It's a good addition, just not for me. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Once again, could be a good fighter.